Hi, this is Jen from Teach Love Autism, and this is a video preview of my interactive morning meeting presentation using Google Slides. So this is meant to be used on a smart board with a projector or on a device. And the nice part about this is that students can interact with this product digitally. There is no prep involved, and it is easy to just touch and go. So there are two ways that you can access these materials. You can choose to use the PDF file, which is what you're going to see here. And then you also have the options in the product when you download it to get access to it through the Google Slides link that I have, and you can utilize the materials there. There is one page that this does matter um, in the difference. So you can choose when we get to that page, I'll explain more about that and that's, um, something you can choose what fits best for your classroom. All right, so the nice thing about this is it literally says at the bottom here, click anywhere to start, and that is exactly what you can do. So I'm just gonna click, and we start right into um, our topic. So the first one is yesterday was, and the nice thing about this is anywhere you see a hand show up, that is a clickable image. Okay, so um, as you can see here, there is no hand, but when I move down to the days of the week, there is. So let's pretend yesterday was Tuesday, we'll click it, and then we get the visual yesterday was Tuesday. You can even have a student read this as it is a sentence, um, which is nice. Then to get to the next slide, I click anywhere, and I go to today is. So today is, well, we'll keep going and say it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. We click anywhere and we move on to tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Again, we have that full sentence students can read, and we click anywhere. Then we move on to the month. Um, you can click on any one of these months and it will work. Uh, let's go with September, and then you get that full sentence. The month is September. I can click anywhere to move on. So this then takes you to the calendar for that month. These are going to be updated every year. These are currently ready to go for 2019, but as need be, I will update this product so that it is available for anyone that wants it for that specific year that we're currently in. So right now, the thing that is different, this is the one slide that you have to make the choice of whether you wanna use this through the PDF or through the Google Slides uh, link. So when you do it in the PDF, there is no way to um, make these numbers show up. But in the Google Slides, I can create a man, an, an animation where if you click the screen, number one shows up. If I click again, number two shows up and so on and so forth until the entire calendar is filled. And you can choose to count as if you would with your class and add each number um, till you get to the day's date. So if it was the 12th, I would click that many times and only and then stop so I could get to the 12 and students could see that. With the PDF file, you have to, what I do is I take my whiteboard marker or dry erase marker and I circle it. So I will take it and say if it's the 12th and I will circle it in a color so my students can see and we will just pick the date there. It truly is your preference. When you get to the calendar page and you're ready to move on from that page, you click up at the top, you click year, and you move on to the year is. So the year is 2019. Then we move on to weather. So you pick what kind of weather it is. If it's September, we probably wanna say maybe it's rainy. Okay, and then you get again that sentence. The temperature portion. The temperature portion, I really like the concept of students being able to see Celsius versus Fahrenheit. I even added in the um, tens that were missing from this thermometer and each of these is clickable so if I click on one of these which I'll do in a moment you will see that that full temperature will come up the other thing I like is you can draw an arrow to the temperature so I would again take a dry erase marker uh, depending on the board you have or if you have a smart board with a pen that you can draw on it and draw an arrow so if it was 70 degrees in September I would draw a big arrow pointing to that number so let's pretend it was 70 degrees I'm going to click 70 and it says the temperature is 70 degrees. Then when I'm ready to move on, I'm gonna click the next slide. And we move on to it feels. So if it's 70 degrees, we'd essentially say it's probably cool outside. We could say cool or warm, let's go with warm. We click warm and then we have it in a sentence, it feels warm. 
And the last slide is the season. So what season are we in? Well, if we chose September 12th, we're technically still in summer. So we're gonna pick summer. And the season is summer. And then we click that. Now this last page I really like. Um, unfortunately, in the PDF version, you could click on this and type into it if you wanted to. On the Google Slides version, you would have to, um, and you could do this in the PDF version as well, is you could take your dry erase marker again and write it in or have students come up and write it in. And I just like this at the end here as a culmination of everything that you did throughout the entire slide. Then you move to the next arrow. And there's more information. This would be all about the forecast. So the weather, the temperature, how it feels outside, and the season, which we all just did. So that is the entire product for this presentation. Um, there is also a binder that coincides with this product that you can look for. It's the interactive morning meeting binder and you can use it right alongside this presentation if you choose. And I highly recommend both products together. It works really nicely to have those materials in front of your students and up at the board at the same time. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to follow me and follow me on any of my social media pl platforms, and you can always get more information on my blog or my website. Thanks, guys, and I will be talking to you soon.